Hey, so I know this video is going to be a little bit of a pattern interrupt from what I typically share, but I've been thinking a lot lately about a vision that God gave me, and it happened on May 10th, 2018, and I wanted to share it with you. And I've shared it before, some of you have heard it, but I believe now more than ever, with all that's going on in the world right now, that people need to hear a message from God that would refocus us on the things of God and point towards the soon return of Christ. And so what happened? I wake up, it's about 6, 6.30 in the morning. I open the Bible on audio, start listening, and God directs me to a specific chapter in the Bible and, and begins to speak to me. Well, the day before, I had prayed and God had quickly answered me. And full disclosure, I was praying that God would bring me a wife one day and uh, God answered me. I said, God, you know, basically, please don't be mad at me, but I'm asking for a confirmation. Could you give me a vision to confirm what you've said? And so that morning I wake up regrettably. I had drinking to get drunk the night before. Huge mistake. I've repented since. Drinking to get drunk will send you to hell. And so God's God's grace is, is uh is great, but basically there's a the reason I shared that was because the vision was super intense and came with a, a an intense rebuke at the very same time as the answers. And so I'll break that down here in a little bit. But basically I'm at one of my best friends' house. I wake up and God speaks to me through the scripture, and then I fall back asleep. And I go into this vision, which is different from a dream. It actually feels like it's it's real life until you come out of it. And so in the vision, I'm at my best friend's house where I really was at the time and him and his fiance at the time sitting on the couch. And I said to them, does anyone know what time it is? And I looked up and there was no ceiling, uh, there was no roof on their house and it was just the open sky. And it was like overcast, cloudy. And then the clouds started to swirl like in a whirlpool and open up in, in a portal. And I'm just looking and watching. And then the sky starts to get bright and it's it gets brighter and brighter and so bright that I couldn't keep my eyes open to this light. You can go outside right now, it's very sunny. I'm in Louisiana and I can look directly at the sun. Sure, it would mess me up, but this light, I couldn't look into it. It it came towards me and I had to shut my eyes to the brightness of 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 this light and the power of God hit me in my body. I mean, I physically felt like what felt like a hundred million volts of electricity. It felt like someone, I've described it before that that if someone had picked up an entire electrical power plant and put it on top of me and turned it on, it was, it was, it was like God himself had put his finger on me and it shook me. I mean, I believed while it was happening, I was either dead because no human being could sustain that power that I felt, or if or if I was going to live, it was because God was allowing me by his grace to live through it and speak um, to you today about it. And so, and then I, as soon as that happens, I keep my eyes closed because I want to see more, but I could feel myself, you know, come back into my body or whatever happened. And I wake up and I can feel the power of God on me so intense. And I'm, I'm shook to the core, right? You, you can't come out of something like that and not be changed. And so what I believe took place was that I was praying for a wife, a bride, right? Who are we in the Bible? We are called the bride of Christ. And so I believe that God was speaking to us at the time, in the time that we're living in, that we, that the bride of Christ needs to be ready because before we know what time it is, I asked, does anyone know what time it is? Before I could get an answer is that the, that the power of God came, right? And so I believe that God was saying that the Lord Jesus is coming back very soon for his bride and that we must be ready. The Bible says that he's coming back for a radiant church, a glorious bride without sin, without spot or wrinkle or blemish. He's coming back for a holy people who love his return. And so from that vision, I took that we are living in the final moments of time before the return of Christ. And remember the parable about 
the five wise virgins and the five foolish virgins that ha essentially half the church was not ready for the return of Christ. They had no oil in their lamps. They didn't have a deposit of the Holy Spirit. They were spiritually cold and dead. And so I'm sharing this as an encouragement. Maybe some people will take it as a rebuke, fine, whatever. But we need to wake up and realize the signs of the times because we are in the times of the signs. They're, they're everything, Bible prophecy, the events in the world, everything is pointing towards the soon return of Christ. And we must be ready. We must be living holy. We must be living with an earnest expectation that, that we are ready to meet Christ and that we love God. And that we are we are his chosen people so take this video share it um let's try to get it to as many people as possible why so that so that the body of christ will be ready to meet god so i hope this found you well i want to say god bless you and uh and i love you and god loves you and and turn from sin turn from sin get rid of it and and follow after christ